If you look at why we don't touch a burning candle or go close to a fire, that's because before we can get there, we can sense the heat. And perhaps even more importantly, right from the time when we were kids, we've learned, our parents have told us, we've learned with experience not to do that. In the cyber world, in the online world, it just doesn't work. So for example, if I get an email from my boss and that email says, here's the invoice that you need to pay, I am going to click on the attachment. It does not pass my mind that my boss is trying to compromise my computer or steal my information. But that's exactly what the bad guys do. Our networks are being exploited at a, at a rate that is alarming. The architectures that were built in the in the 1990s, which is which is the antivirus protection suites, even some of the uh, systems that are being used with firewalls and intrusion systems, you know, were designed in an era where the threats were were still pretty infrequent. Uh, they weren't sophisticated. My biggest concern as a, as a security professional uh, is that, you know, while we have dealt with decades of having uh, cyber espionage being performed against us, stealing of information, we are now moving towards the era where we're going to see cyber destruction be more common. And that's what scares me. That's what keeps me up. You know, we went from having a couple viruses a year to hundreds of thousands a week being developed. And, and the sheer magnitude and the speed of the development of this malicious code that has just plethorated the entire world and the internet, um, is, it's, it's just too hard to keep up with.